Just make the delivery already. I told you, I don't need to be there. I can speak to him another time. Well, I don't care if he wanted me to deliver it in person. That's not happening today. God damn it. Julie! Can you put the dogs out? Thank you. Just give me a sec, I gotta get to my office. I already told you. Just make the delivery. I'll meet you at the bar later tonight. Tell him next time. Because I... What the hell? Hold on a second, Frank. Hey, Julie! Why is there a woman tied up in my office? And on my desk chair, no less? I mean, I'm all about the kinky stuff, but... Uh... She's what? Oh, man... I told him to investigate, not kidnap her. Great. Uh, hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. I've got something to deal with. Alright. I'll see you tonight. Hmm. Well, what do we have here? Uh, this isn't quite what I expected to come home to. Oh, hey, shh. Uh-uh, none of that. My apologies. I can't really understand you with that gag in your mouth. Alright, alright, take it easy. Let me just get this off of you. But before I do... Let me make a few things clear. I'm a very, very busy man. So choose your words wisely. You and I both know why you're here. So spare me any excuses you might have. Is that understood? Alright, good. Now hold still. That's a good girl. Alright. Let's make this fast. Then you can be on your way. Kill you. Oh, honey, I'm not going to kill you. Did you not hear what I said? Don't pretend like you don't know why you're here. Is that so? Well, I suppose if you need a quick reminder, I can oblige. You're here because of the dealings you have with my brother. You see, he's been disowned from the family. And my father left it up to me to deal with him. But I can't really get close to him, you see. So in turn, I found the next best thing. Why kidnap you? Well... My hired guns weren't supposed to kidnap you. They were just supposed to keep an eye on you, that's all. But you know how hired muscle can be. They're not the smartest chaps. You don't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, come now. Let's not play this game. You and I both know how this dance is going to end. I know, and you know what you've been doing. So don't play stupid. There's been some mistake, huh? Oh, I don't think so. <sighs> M 
Wait, say that again? Your name is Sally Bossett, right? No. If that's not your name, then who are you? Oh, brother. You... <clears throat> Hold on a second. Hey, Julie. Who is it I have in my office again? You're saying this isn't Sally Bossett? What do you mean they took her to the warehouse? Then who's this girl in my office? What? What do you mean you don't know? Uh, no, it's fine. I'll figure it out. Good grief. Uh. Huh. Well, look at that. It appears to be some kind of a mix-up. Oh, come now. You must have some idea of who brought you here. You didn't see anything. I find that hard to believe. Not just anyone can waltz in here and... Hmm. You are pretty convincing, I'll give you that much. All right, look. I've never heard of you before. But you clearly know who I am or you wouldn't be here. And someone that works for me, I'm not sure who at the moment, decided it would be best to leave you here. For me to deal with. Why, I have no idea. Typically, I'm not the one that gets my hands dirty. If you don't have dealings with my brother, then you're not who I thought you were. Then why the hell are you here? Damn it. Hang on. Gotta take this call. Yes, it's me. What do you want, Dad? Did I get your what? What present? Wait a minute. You're not talking about the girl that was tied up at my desk. Who is she, and why is she here? You can't be serious. Did you really just grab some random girl off the street? <clears throat> Father, you know that's not how I operate. A teacher? You've got to be kidding me. Look, I understand you want me to settle down, but this is not how you play matchmaker, idiot. Uh, I'm... I apologize, sir. I just meant that... <sighs> I will look for a wife on my own time. You can't just randomly pick someone out for me. Especially against their will. That doesn't matter right now. I'm letting her go. What do you mean, bot? Bought from who? She's an adult, isn't she? You can't be serious right now. You paid off her parents? But... Father, hang on. Wait, don't hang up. No, no, no. Uh... uh I need a minute to process this. I'm guessing you heard all that, huh? Apparently, my father decided it was time for me to settle down and pick a bride. And lucky you. You just happened to be his first candidate. Hey, I don't like this any more than you do. 
But apparently he paid your parents off for you to spend a week with me. Not only that, he paid your work off too. So as far as they're concerned, you're taking a leave of absence. I know, ridiculous, isn't it? But who am I to argue with him? He is one of the top dogs in the city, after all, besides myself. I really thought he was going to step down once he handed me the family business. <sighs> but I guess retirement didn't suit him much. <sighs> oh, right. My apologies. I should probably untie you. But you do understand the severity of this situation, don't you? We both don't have to like it, but we're going to have to put up with each other for a little while. It's just a week. You don't have to talk to me and I don't have to talk to you. One thing my father doesn't understand is I'm not looking for marriage. And why the hell he thought I would like a teacher is beyond me. Oh, it's nothing against you personally. Teachers are just underappreciated and underpaid. It's pathetic, really. <sighs> oh, you disagree, huh? All right. Humor me, then. Well, shaping the minds of young children is fine. I still don't think it's worth struggling to pay rent over. I'm going to untie you now. And then you are free to do what you want. As long as you don't leave this building. Oh, you can try. But I'm pretty sure my father has hired guns everywhere. He's not planning on just letting you walk out. So you might as well hang around for a while. All right. Hold still. <laughs> there you are. The kitchen is down the hall. The restrooms are to your left. And there's plenty of bedrooms upstairs if you want to crash. I've got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to stay in my office. Going out later. Uh, yes. I do have to meet up with someone at the bar, but that's not your concern. Come with me. Hmm. Interesting. And I thought you'd be jumping out the window the first chance you got. But I'm assuming, since you were on my father's hit list for this little experiment... That you're single? Divorced? How interesting. Alright then, fine. It's a date. Just give me an hour. Oh, and don't try to go outside. The dogs will maul you. Alright. I'll see you then, little teach. <sighs> hey there, listener. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to comment so you can let me know how I did. And if you'd like to support the channel, please join my Patreon for more spicy content. Or you can join our Discord group if you'd like to chat with me. The link is down below. And as always, this is Akihiko Kai. Mwah. See you next time.